Hi everyone, today I will present to you about the stress tensor. So what is actually stress tensor? Stress tensor is a simply a convenient, consist way of expressing the stress state inside of a material. It also can be defined as the quantity which has magnitude with a multiple direction. Component of stress tensor is actually has nine components, which is three normal stresses and six shear stresses. From this nine component, we come up to form a metric three times three like this. Three normal stresses. It subscript identify the phase on which the stress at. So xx is our subscript, yy is our subscript, and zz is our subscript. As you guys know that here is our X phase, here is our Y phase, and here is our Z phase. For the example, sigma XX, normal stress is acting on the X phase of the element. So here is our X phase, so the direction should be like this. And also like this, here is also our X phase. For sheet shear six shear stress subscript one identify the phase y subscript two identify the direction so x is our subscript one y is our subscript two for the example sigma x y shear stress is a action on the phase x and in the y direction so here is our phase x and here is our Y direction. So the direction should be like this. Okay. So I think that's all from me. Thank you. One of the application of the tensors is diffusion tensor imaging in MRI. What is DTI? DTI is an MRI based neuroimaging technique that makes it possible to estimate the location, orientation, and a nice trophy of the white matter tracks of the brain. Alright, why is it related to the tensors? The architecture of the axons in parallel bundles and their myelin shield facilitate the diffusion of the water molecules along their main direction. If we apply the diffusion gradients in at least six non-collinear directions, it is possible to calculate for each pixel a diffusion tensor. There are three by three metrics that describe this diffusion anisotropy. This type of medical imaging is used as a radiology test that helps doctors trace signs of diseases such as multiple sclerosis, brain tumor, epilepsy, or even Alzheimer disease. Even so, the DTI technology still presents limitation as there are certain obstacles that the water molecules may encounter inaccurate images and therefore misdiagnose patients. Okay, now I would like to present one of application of tensor and mechanics that is to represent strain. Strain is the amount of deformation experienced by the body in the directions of force applied divided by the initial dimensions of the body. For one dimensional problem, strain is represented by scalar quantity. Meanwhile, for two and three dimensional problem, strain is represented as matrix and we call it as tensor. In three-dimensional problem, the strain is represented by three by three matrix. And the diagonal terms of the matrix represents uniaxial deformation in X, Y, and Z directions of the body. This component of strain is called normal strain. As an illustration, a kick is pressed in practical directions such as depicted in the figure. After the compression, there is deformation in the vertical y-directions. 
It can be said that the cake experienced normal strain. For off-diagonal terms in the strain tensor, they are called shear strain. Shear strain represents shear deformation, and they have symmetry properties. Here is the illustration. The first animation representing pure shear deformations of XY. We can see that only passes XY are having changing angle. For all other faces, the perpendicular corner are remained. Okay, I have explained about the representation of strain in the tensor form. In three-dimensional problem, there are two components of strain tensor. They are normal and shear strain. That is my explanation about one of tensor application in the mechanics. Here are some references that I use. Thank you.